Hey guys, this is Aaron. We had a request to show some tips on using the Follow Me tool to uh, make some three-dimensional shapes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 2D shape right here. I just drew this in a single plane, kind of a, a shape of half of a chess piece. And I'm going to use Follow Me to create a extruded solid shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by drawing a circle. And I'm just going to draw the circle right on the ground. And it doesn't matter how big I draw it or anything. All that matters is it's at the center of the shape. So if I extrude around this middle point, uh, it's going to wrap this shape around. So if I, if I started my circle you know, over here or something, it would extrude around that point, which would give me some weird geometry. So what I want is to make sure that I start at the middle of my shape. All right, now I'm going I'm to show you a couple different things about how Follow Me works. The first thing, and this is, seems to be the natural progression the way people try to use Follow Me, is by clicking Follow Me, clicking onto a shape, and dragging it around. This can work okay sometimes, um, but it can also cause issues. So you can see as I'm, as I'm dragging this around, oh, there we go. So what happened was I drug around the circle, and then I kept dragging. So I'm actually following some other shapes around right now. Um, and it can make kind of a mess. So this is not the ideal way to do it. You can keep dragging and hopefully just pick up the right shapes that you want and maybe get a, uh, a perfect circle, but odds are good that uh, sooner or later something's gonna go wonky, that's a technical term, and you're gonna get a not perfect looking piece like this. All right, so how do you combat that? Well, let's try it again. I'm gonna grab another circle. And you notice it doesn't matter how big I make this circle. I could make it huge, I can make it teeny tiny. Um, all that really matters is the edges here. That's what I'm gonna follow. That's all that's important when I use the follow me like this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the edges first, then hit follow me, then click on the surface. And what that's gonna do is just follow that circle and nothing else. And you see I got a good looking piece right there. That looks great, except if I flip upside down, it's hollow. It did not extrude along that bottom section. Easy enough to fix, of course. All I have to do is draw a line anywhere along the circle. It'll close for me. So the question is, how do I draw this without having to go back and fill it in? The simple solution is to draw the circle not actually connected to the geometry, but maybe slightly removed. So you can see all I did there was I start in this point, use inferencing to drop down the blue axis, and drew my circle. Now if I select this circle, follow me, click the shape, I get nice extrusion. Oh, look at that. If I delete the circle, that's all closed up. Looking good. I'm looking better, but still some improvements can be made here. Uh, one thing I got is I got these bands for some reason. I got something here too. Inside here, I got some extra lines. I don't shouldn't need these extra lines. This should be a smooth piece. Issue for that is if I look at my profile here that I drew, I have multiple separate pieces making up that profile. In some cases, it's fine. Uh, this corner right here, that's fine. It'll give me a ridge on the bottom. That's not a big deal. But some of them, like this, I want this all to be smooth, not broken apart. Now, of course, I can do the follow me and then do a triple select, right click and soften smooth. But I want to look at how to get the best out of follow me from the start. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these lines. I'm going to go to extensions and I'm going to click on Weld. Weld is a free extension um, that I installed from Extension Warehouse. And what that's going to do is going to take all those lines and make them into one. So if I do that same thing, my circle, drop down, draw my circle, select my circle, follow me. Look at this. Much better. That's some good looking geometry right there. All smooth, all one piece because it was uh, joined together beforehand. So how can I get even better than that? All right, so here is the ultimate follow me workflow. I have those same lines. So first thing I'm gonna do again, select all, extension, weld, gives me one piece. And now just to take a little bit further, I'm gonna triple click the geometry, right click and make a group. And I did that before I did follow me. Am I crazy? No, I'm going somewhere with this. Watch this. Circle, again, just like before, I'm gonna drop it straight down. At this point, this group is actually, geometry is 
uh, isolated, so I could have put it up here high, but you know I'm developing a habit here. Um, I want to do is select this, select my circle, I'm going to select follow me, and now you see I can't actually come pick here, it actually tells me no, not allowed, can't happen. But what I can do is I can right click, edit group, then pick that geometry. And even though I'm in a separate context from the circle, it'll still let me carry out that follow me command. So when I'm done, what I end up with is here's my new chess piece already in a group. Kind of the ideal method for doing that. So if I want to just a, basically what's a one click, real quick, no cleanup, follow me, what I'm going to do is take my geometry, weld the lines, group them, select, pre-select my path, and then follow me. So as an added bonus, just for fun, you notice that we did do everything uh, here with a circle to get this round piece. This would have worked actually with any polygon. So I could come in here to polygons and let's do something crazy like a three-sided polygon, often referred to as a triangle. And I will come in here and drop this straight down, drag it out, select the polygon, follow me, and look at that, it's a cool looking chess piece. So a lot of times when we do these sorts of extrusions where we take shapes to make lamps, chess pieces, that kind of thing, we end up using circles, but just to point out, it doesn't have to be that way. You can actually use any geometry as long as the center of the geometry, like I said, is lined up with the edge of the shape being extruded. So that is a couple of solid tips on how to get the most out of follow me. Thank you.